this video i will show the distributed fed at one end uh, uniformly loaded okay or uniformly loaded uh, uniformly loaded distributed fed at one end so here um, a b is a distributor and l be the length of the distributor and uh, in this distributor we provide a supply at the point a okay that is distributed fed at one end okay and uh, the uniformly loaded means uh, we have a different tapping point along the distributed AB, okay, and each tapping point which draws equal amount of current, okay. So all the tapping point we can see different tapping point and all tappings which draws equal current of small i, okay. So that is uniformly loaded distributed fed at one end. All the tap the current are same. And one more thing every one meter okay we have one tapping point okay so in every one meter we have a tapping point and each tapping point which draws an equal amount of current that is small i that is a uniformly loaded distributed fed at one end okay suppose l be the length of the distributor and we know that every one meter we have one uh, there, there is a one tapping point so uh, let L be the length of the distributor means L number of tappings are here in the distributor. Okay, uh, suppose uh, L, uh, length of the distributor is 10 meter. That means 10 number of tapping points are there and each point draws equal current of I. Okay, so that is uniformly distributed uh, fed at one end, uniformly loaded distributed fed at one end. Okay. Uh, so here you can see a distributor in figure 13.12 you can see a distributor a b and you consider a point c in between the distributor a b and its length is dx okay dx is the length of the point c okay and c is located uh, x distance away from the point a and total length of the distributor is l okay now what is the current at a current at A at uniformly loaded distributor fed at one end current at A. So we know the length of distributor that is L and we know each meter there is a tapping okay each and every meter there are there, there, there are tappings okay so we have L number of tappings in the distributor and each distributor draws the current of small i okay so L number of tappings and each L each uh, tappings which draws the current of small i so what is the current at point a l into small i so l into small i is the total current supplied at the point a l into i okay now what is the current at c okay c is uh, displaced uh, x distance x meter from the point a okay so what is the current at c the current at c equal to current at a minus the current leaving from the section AC. Okay, so x number of tappings are here in between AC, x number of tapping and each tapping which draws the current of small i. Okay, so the current at C equal to current at A minus current leaving, uh, leaving to the different tapping on the section AC. Okay, so L i is the total current and the leaving current at the AC is equal to session AC is equal to X into Y. Okay, X into Y. So the total current at C equal to L into Y minus I into X. Okay, so you can write current at C equal to I into L minus I into X. Okay, I into L minus I into X is the current at C. Okay, you can rearrange this equation. So we get I into L minus X ampere. That is the current at point C. Okay, now You calculate the uh, dx is the length of the dx is the length of the point C, okay, and R is the small r. Small r is the resistance per meter. Okay, resistance per meter. Okay, small r. Let uh, small r be the resistance per meter. So what is the resistance along the length dx? So R into dx. That is the resistance along the length dx. That is R into dx. Now you calculate the voltage drop across the length of dx okay you calculate the voltage drop you calculate voltage drop 
across the small length dx. So what if the voltage drop that is current into resistance. So we have already calculated current at C point and we know the resistance that is R into dx. So current is equal to I into L minus X and resistance is equal to R into dx. So we can get the voltage drop dv okay, voltage drop or dv across the distance dx okay so dv equal to current into resistance so dv equal to current equal to i into l minus x okay, i into l minus x is the current and r into dx be the resistance along the dx distance okay so voltage drop equal to i into l minus x into r into dx so we can write i into r we rearrange the terms so we can get i into r l minus x into dx so that is the voltage drop along the small distance of dx okay now we are going to calculate the voltage drop across ac okay so now we got the voltage drop across dx now we are going to calculate the voltage drop from point a to c okay so we know the voltage drop across the small distance of dx okay then we can easily calculate the voltage drop across AC integrating the uh, DX. Okay, uh, the voltage drop across the DX, integrating the voltage drop across the DX. So, for finding the voltage drop across AC, we integrate uh, the A point which starts from 0 to meter. So, integrate 0 to X. Okay, X is the distance uh, where C is placed. So, we integrate 0 to X into the voltage drop along the dx okay so we can write the equation voltage drop up to the c v voltage drop up to the c v equal to integral 0 to x i into r l minus x into dx okay and we integrating and we applying the lower and upper limits we get i into r into lx minus x square by 2 okay so that is the voltage drop along the across the point AC. Okay, across the AC. Now, now we are going to calculate the voltage drop across the whole distributor. Okay, so that is voltage drop across the A to B. Okay, whole distributor means voltage drop across A to B. Okay, so you can easily calculate by integrating integral 0 to L. Okay, instead of X, you put 0 to L. Okay, so instead of X, you put L. So we have already calculated the voltage drop across AC. That is I into R, I into R into LX minus X square by 2. So instead of X, you put L value. Okay. Then you get the voltage drop across the AB. Okay. So by substituting L instead of X, you get I into R, L into L minus L square by 2. Okay. So you get, you uh, uh, expand this uh, equation you get 1 by 2 i into small i into r into l square okay so that is equal to you rearrange this equation so 1 by 2 i into l into r into l okay so i into l mean what is i into l that is a total current okay so i into l is total current so you mentioned it capital i okay then what is r into l that is a total resistance along the distributor so small r is the resistance per meter so r l is the length so RL is equal to total resistance of the distributor. So you uh, keep it capital R. So the voltage drop over distributed AB that is 1 by 2 into I by R. Okay, where I into L is equal to total current entering at point A. R into L is equal to resist total resistance of the distributor. Okay, so uh, the main equation is the voltage drop over the distributed AB is equal to 1 by 2 into I into R. Okay. Uh, so this is the calculation in case of uh, that, that that is in uh, this equation is applicable only the uh, distributed fed at one end uniformly loaded condition that's all thank you